All right. Hey guys, it's Joette with ballooncoach.com. I have been a coach to the balloon industry since 2015 and I've been full-time in the balloon industry since 2003. And today I want to talk about a great topic called yard cards. And in the midst of social distancing, many people have been adding them to their balloon decor businesses. Other people have been debating if they should or not, if they're ready to take that step. So tonight we have two special guests on with us. Number one is Jen Nikos, who has 10 years of experience being fun by the yard. Is that not the most adorable name in the world? <laughs> Um, so fun by the yard is the name of her company. And then Belinda barrier is with us with balloon event and construction company out of Jacksonville, Florida. And she's actually one of my instructors on my webinar program. She's also coming up to be, um, talking about brand messaging and building a great dynamic business at our balloon boss pro summit, um, 2020. And she just recently got into doing yard cards in the midst of social distancing. So I thought it'd be great for Jen to tell us all this wonderful information from her years of experience. Experience. And then at the end, that Belinda can share some of her tips and tricks too. So um, that's going to be the format for tonight. And we're just going to hop in and see some of the pictures, hear some of Jen's tips. And then at the end, you guys can ask questions as needed. So Jen, thank you so much for being here and giving us this information tonight. One thing I would love to just start off the bat with to give some people some hope and inspiration that are maybe right now having a reduction in their business um, because of the balloons and it being in the middle of the summer and the heat. Can you tell us a little bit about your goals that you had for 2020 and how you're doing <laughs> with them? Yeah, we kind of talked about that a little bit yesterday. So I set uh, monthly and quarterly and yearly goals and I, I track them pretty, pretty vigorously. And I, I just kind of realized that I hit my year end goal in May. Woo -woo! So, yeah. <laughs> so in May of 2020, in the midst of social distancing, you have done what you we were asking for your sales to be for the entire year of 2020. Exactly. And how much has that been yard cards versus how much of that has been balloons? I would say a majority of it is yard cards, which is very uncommon. Um, usually um, in a typical year, it's about 60, 40, maybe 60% balloons, 40% yard cards. And I would say it's more 80% yard cards this year because of the social distancing and COVID. Okay. It, so, it's a huge spike. So that gives you guys some great information. Deb is saying, yay, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The alumni from um, retreat. So that's awesome. She's cheering you on. So I want to throw out there how fun yard cards can be. Cause I think sometimes people think of them just for birthdays or anniversaries or graduation. And like this one with the be safe, be kind, you know, putting out those fun messages. I know following you on Facebook, I saw a lot of different things that you were putting out during this time. And I love over here with the one with the smiley face. And then you've got it set up where it's kind of like a marquee where you can just put in the slotted letters. Do you have other signs like that or just that one? Several, several. Yeah, um, the big marquee in the center and little accents around the outside is kind of how things started. Lately, they've progressed to these long letters that you see. That's kind of in the last maybe three to four years that's kind of come about. Um, but we started with just the marquees and the little accents. So I've got both. Awesome. I love it. So, um, you know, it's a girl <laughs> and announcing um, <laughs> at seven pounds, four ounces. Who would not want to come home to that with their baby? It's so fun. I love it. So for sure. tell us a little bit about finding your customer. Absolutely. So for us, I mean, we kind of already have our customer base and we're doing the the balloon art in the yards and we have our, our corporate customers and our private customers. So you can always use them. Um, give them a call. Hey, I've got this great new product. Can I put it in your yard? I won't even charge you. Do it for free. Why not? Now, everybody in that area, your target market is going to see it. And that's all it takes. Once they see it, your phone's going to ring. It's quick. It really is. Um, but you've got to put your sign out there however they want you want to be contacted whether it be your phone number your email your website make sure you put that out um and yeah there you're you will wake up in the morning and your phone will be ringing i guarantee it that's awesome now have you done any automation with the way people contact you in order or is everything over the phone 
Um, I, I kind of started to, I find that there's so many questions and nuances that I want to be able to speak to the customer. Okay. So I have an online form they can fill out just so I can get general information. But then I always call to say, Hey, you know, tell me about the person because I want to make it custom to them. I don't want to just do a generic. Do they love sports? Are they outgoing? Are they more shy? Do they want something funny? Do they want something serious? So I try to get a feel for that person before I put it out. I love that. Yeah. That's great. So, you know, this is such a cute picture having the customer laying down on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things that I encourage people and I talk about this in balloons and in Bloom Boss Mastermind all the time in our live events is that we sell what we share. And not only is it having that image of our balloons or the image of the yard cards, but when your clients can share images like this of them experiencing your decor, then that gives an emotional response because people can see, oh, it's not just that she makes these, but these people are having fun with it and are smiling. And how awesome is this with a person with their diploma? That is a perfect um, Instagram per picture or Facebook picture if I've ever seen one. So, right, and I, I'm sorry, go ahead. go ahead. No, you're good. Well, I just thought that a lot of times in social media, they'll put it up, make sure you A, ask them to tag you so that when people see it, they know who to contact. And B, like this, if I have a picture, I'm gonna put it on my page and tag them because then they'll have it and that'll draw people to your page as well. So that is so important in social media is that having that person, the client, give you a shout out on their personal page allows all of their friends to see, oh, this was done by Fun by the Yard. And right. so they know who to contact afterwards. So And vice versa. Yeah, you tag them. Yeah. Sometimes I have found clients um, in Balloon Bus Mastermind who are shy to ask for referrals and shy to ask about tags. And here's the thing, guys. This is the time when that client says, oh, my God, this is amazing. We love it then that's the time to say, hey, I'm so glad you liked what we did. The way you can help me grow my business, you know, I'm a small business and the way I grow is through your referrals. And when you tell people that, people respond because they want to help you out as a small business. They want to see you succeed. So that is a great tip. So our next thing is on the different kinds of signs. Can you share us a little bit about that? Sure, sure. Um, it started with, and I kind of brought samples. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see these or not. Um, um, I can turn off. Or can you guys see that heart? Okay. Or do you want me to stop the screen share for a second? Nope. Nope. We're good. We're good. Um, this is just coroplast. It's corrugated plastic. It comes in four by eight sheets, plain color, no print, no vinyl, nothing on it. And you can cut it in any shape. Um, it's how I started cutting out my letters and my shapes. Super durable, super inexpensive. I kind of think that's kind of like the base. Um, and then you can go up to a direct print, which is the same thing. It's still that, that corrugated plastic, but it has a digital print. One thing that I don't like about these, even though they offer a lot more pow and they're better in the yard, they scratch really easy. So if you decide to get these, be very careful about how yeah. you can store you know them. Yep, I see it. So the people who are saying that you can't see her, what you need to do is push the um, button to see the videos of everybody. So if you, you should see my picture and Jen's. And if you don't on your computer, there's a little button that you can push that takes it from just being one person to everybody. And uh, the person who's not seeing the samples, I can also post some pictures afterwards of them. Yeah, so Jen, if or you I, can, I can send some to you or put them on the, the Balloon yeah. Coach site too. So, and then the third kind is vinyl. I'm kind of getting a glare. Um, so you can put any picture you want. And these are like, um, for people that aren't familiar with vinyl, it's like a giant sticker, basically. Um, and then that goes on that same coroplast. So those are the three different kinds. And I kind of listed on the slide that Joette has kind of the pros and cons and what I've found over the years, what works and doesn't work and for different situations. Um, turn, do we want to talk about stakes too? Because that's kind of important. Yes, definitely. Um, and right now, I will tell you that every stake manufacturer that I have contacted is on back order. They are very difficult to get because everyone has jumped on the bandwagon. So if you order them, expect to wait. Um, the kind that I use are these small ones. 
Um, they're called piggyback steaks. You can get them either from Grimco, which I don't order from too often because I find that they are, they're usually a ways out, um, or Harbor Sales is my number one go-to for these. And the, I'll have the links on here too. Um, but they come in different sizes. So this one, I wish maybe I should back up. I don't know if you guys can see it, but they're, oh, thank you, Joe. Um, they're 10 inches long and 30, or 30 inches long, 10 inches across. They're bigger for the big, they're better for bigger signs that you want to get taller or up high on a second row. And then they also come a little bit thinner for your thinner signs. So I would suggest getting some of each size just to kind of see, play with them and decide what you like. My favorite, 99% of everything I do are on these, the small piggybacks. Um, but there are a couple of links to where you can get those as well. Um, I would order more than you think you're going to need. It is way more difficult to take them out of a sign, put them in another sign if you need to switch them out. Once you put a stake inside a sign, leave it there. Don't take it out. A, it ruins your signs, taking them in and out. And B, it saves a ton of time. Just store your, your signs and your stakes together. Don't take them back out. Great tip. Um, let's see, what else do we need to talk about? Um, um, installation challenges, do we wanna move on to that? Okay, because there's always challenges, right? All right. <laughs> if so we can avoid some of those pitfalls. Cool, I'll go ahead and share my screen. Was there anything else you wanted to show before I start sharing? Um, I don't think so. I mean, those were the three kind of signs and the kind of stakes. If anybody has more questions, pop them up and I'll answer them as we're going. Can you go ahead and show the, um, the first two kinds of sure. signs real quick, that way people that weren't sure. seeing you big. And these, these and come in all different colors. This one happens to be purple, um, but it's just the plain chloroplast. And they come in, and I had them listed there. It's like white, black, red, orange, purple. I don't think they come in like pinks or crazy colors, but that's plain. And this is the digital print where you can get um, all different colors. But this is what I mean by scratching. Can you guys see that? I don't know, this is brand new and it already has a scratch on it. They scratch really, really easily. Um, and then of course the vinyl print. And so do you find that the vinyl print is a little bit more durable than the? Extremely more durable, yes. I This one looks brand new and I've had it for, gosh, since the beginning of time. So maybe about 10 years now. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, the chloroplast and the vinyl last forever. The direct print looks the best, but it doesn't last long. So there's the there's the pros and cons there. Okay, and so Kathy is asking, do you cut out the plain chloroplast ones? You can have them die cut by a company, or you can cut them yourself. I cut a lot of them myself. Um, I either use a handheld battery oper operated, jig excuse me, jigsaw or just a knife. Hot knife works really well. You can pick those up from Hobby Lobby. So you use a jigsaw or a hot knife to cut it yourself? Yeah, or just a razor blade if I'm doing a straight line. All right. Um, how does the metal frame fit into the bottom of like a pea because it's so thin? Sure, sure. I'll show you a little trick for that. So here's a regular steak. The pea is really thin, so if I tried to put it in, see it doesn't fit, it's too big. So you grab it, let me set this down, and you push your thumbs and pull it to bend so it looks like this. I call it a taco fold. Ah. And now these are closer together, and now it'll fit just fine. And then this will sit flat, flush on the ground. You get to taco fold your steaks. <laughs> I, something I definitely have not heard before. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Great tip. Dory said very clever and so smart by Adam. <laughs> Thumbs up. All right. Great. Um, so let me go ahead and I'll go back to sharing my screen. And let me click two other buttons I have to click so I can get back to seeing the chat. And chat. All right, and so a couple more pictures. You know, you can always combine your balloon decor and your signs so that you get a double win there, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
and then you know having the cute fun smiley faces so now in this one are the flowers are those a uh, print um direct on or were those a vinyl so the lighter pink that is a direct print they're older you can see they're kind of faded i've had them forever and then the hot pink is vinyl okay so that kind of gives you guys a good being able to see the difference in the two so installation challenges so it depends on your area i don't have this problem but i know some some people have the problem of very dry hard ground if they're in like desert or mountain areas my problem is we get so much cold um, i'm in northern indiana right on Mich lake michigan so winters are brutal um, you're out there with either a hammer and a chisel or a drill it's it's crazy um, sometimes I just close for the winter. <laughs> okay. So um, keep in mind that you'll want to take a hammer with you, a drill, anything if you've got those challenges, those hard grounds. Think about that. So um, I go out late at night so that my surprise is there to greet people in the morning. But that's the great thing about this business is you can do it however you want. I find that my customers like that a lot better to have that morning surprise. So always ask, are there any barking dogs, cameras, you know, with the new ring doorbells, motion lights, anything that's going to give you away. Make sure that you have all that information up front or automatic sprinklers. I've caught, been caught in those a couple times. That's always fun. Um, oh, one thing, and that just kind of reminded me, if John calls and says, I want you to set up a yard card for my wife, Mary, come tonight and do that. You are an invited guest onto his property. However, if Mary calls and says, go across town late at night and surprise my best friend, Jane, you go into Jane's yard, you are trespassing. Keep that in mind. I've never had any issues, but just so you have that kind of in the back of your head, it's kind of important. Yeah, and so my question is then, if it's somebody orders for you to go to somebody else's house, how mm -hmm. do you handle that? Do you call that person that you're delivering it to? Absolutely not, because that gives away the surprise. Okay. But what I will do is have my customer, I'll say, hey, does any, is there anyone else living in the home? Can you let them know I will be there? That negates that so that they know you're going to be there. Very good point, because the last thing you want to do is somebody who has a barking dog. See, be woken see up in the yard, night. call the police, or, you know, or worse. <laughs> <laughs> have you had that happen before? I have had the police call on me twice. And both times the police ordered a yard card once they got there. <laughs> That's great. Made two sales off of that. <laughs> All right. So making sure that you find out there's somebody in the home that can know to be expecting you. So, um, you know, just a couple more great um, designs um, with the grandmother to be. That's super, super cute. The sweet 16. And then what she's done here, she's watermarking these photos. So something to remember too is to watermark your phone photos when you put things out. Um, one question was, is it appropriate to ask a customer to meet you at the other person's home? No, there's no reason for them to be there. You're offering a service. So it's hands off for them. They don't need to, they don't need to be there. So some things to consider. Okay. Um, if you don't have business insurance, get it. Um, for some of the reasons I just mentioned. Also, if you get a strong storm or winds come through and one of those signs decides to impale something on their property, or if a child gets so excited and comes out and runs and trips and gets a stake in the eye, you, you just never know. Please, please, please cover yourself. Um, the letters that you can order, there are companies that sell them 18 inches tall. They're a little bit less expensive. I would shy away from getting those. They don't offer the impact customers are looking for. Um, tried that once and it did not go well. It doesn't show up well on camera. It doesn't show up well from a distance. Just, just don't do it. Go at least 24 inches or taller. Great tip. Um, door hanger. Again, this is more marketing advertising. So when the, when the surprisee wakes up, they go, who the heck did this? Where'd this come from? You can have a package with who sent it, you know, love Julie, happy 40th, whatever, 
with your business card in there, information about your company, any rules. And Joette, I should probably give you mine just so people can see. Oh, it. that'd be great. Yeah, of, please that don't please don't touch the signs if you need them removed. Call me. Just kind of my my two cents worth. Um, but very important. And then you can put in promotional materials, coupons, upcoming sales, things about, hey, we offer balloons too, you know, whatever marketing materials you want to do there. Um, nosy neighbors are your friends. <sighs> Two reasons. Um, first, because if they're looking out and they see you and they're trying to watch what's going on in the neighborhood, you know your signs are safe. Nosy neighbors watching out. Um, also, that just spreads word. Hey, did you see what I did for your neighbor? Wouldn't it be cool if I could do it for you too? And people just go crazy. I love um, that. Let's see. Oh, depreciation on your job cost form. Big one. Um, because your signs, like I said, I have some that have lasted me 10 years. I have some that have, like the direct print that I picked up after five yards, they're trash. Um, so if you just kind of take a little bit of percentage and stick it, stick it off the side, forget about it, so that when things come up missing, damaged, you need to replace them, you've got that, you've got those funds to pull from. Cool. Um, friends and family, should I discount their yards or give them to them for free? They will ask you. <laughs> hey, can I borrow some signs? <laughs> oh goodness. You, know, you guys know how that goes. Um, I'm going to leave that up to you guys. Half of me says, sure, great, free advertising, but as busy as I am, now that's taking away from a sale because I can't rent it out because Aunt Sue has it. Right. So just think about that. Um, do I need to worry about theft? Depends on your area. Um, I find that if I go into, because I live in a lower economic area, my area no problem at all. They, they're there. I don't worry about a thing. Whereas if I go into more affluent areas, I think for some reason that the kids maybe think they're entitled. I don't know. But anyway, um, I, I don't have a problem in about, like I said, in about 10 years, I think I've had problems twice. Like it just doesn't happen. Don't worry about it. People are generally good. Yay. <laughs> Stay away from chains like sign gypsies. Definitely research them. Um, I have. I have found um, how much they charge, what they're, um, kind of what they expect. I was not impressed, but of course, do your own research. They charge a lot, um, and you have to use their materials. You have to book everything through them. They take a percentage. I see no reason why you can't do this on your own with out a company backing you just add it to yours and I think especially if you've already got an existing balloon business you're not needing that absolutely help yeah, you don't need a that. franchise because you've already got it yeah and then as far as cost goes it's going to depend but if you're just looking to add happy birthday to your existing balloons say I spend two hundred dollars and I get a beautiful happy birthday set well you charge 50 bucks each time and four yards it's free money. And now you can use that for like the next five years with no money and you get it back every time. It's money over and over and over again. That's great. I love it. Yeah. Um, so what we're going to do is show a couple more pictures and then I'll see what other questions we have. Let's see. Did that one already? All right. So, um, two, two, two. how long do you leave the signage up before you go back to take them down. Okay, so birthdays, I mean, it's 24 hours. Once your birthday's over, the event's over, they want it picked up. My package, you can either go up the morning of and come down the night, that's kind of a little discounted rate, or you can go up the night before and do the whole sneaky thing, and then it comes down 24 hours the next night. If you want it any longer than that 24 hour package, I do a half price per day. Very rarely do my customers want it longer than a day. Okay. And then another question is, do people ever keep it or is it always a rental? It's always a rental. A, because I need my stuff back so I can continue to make money on it. And B, if you leave it with them, they don't need you anymore. They've got it. So they're going to use it for their kids, for their family, for all of your customers that you can no longer service because they have it. Don't sell it. All right. Um, 
question is how do you charge is it by the letter or is it by like the word um no because i don't do just lawn letters i do all the full service package um what i do is i ch charge by the display and by location and how long they're going to have it what time it goes up there's some things that come into play um but basically my average yard card is 100 bucks can go okay. up or down just depending on those things um, but then that includes your your 24 hours if you want to add balloons like i did here that's additional cool and then um do you collect the signage and leave the balloons yes um a lot of times if they don't want them i'll grab the balloons too just so i can reuse the framing um, but the balloons they've paid for and I, I make sure I price accordingly so I don't worry about having to go back for them or pick them up if they want to keep them. But they, all the yard signs come back to me. Cool. Um, a question that was asking about storage and I do have some photos from Belinda Barriers of how she does it, but do you want to tell us a little bit about how you store yours? I store mine in the kitchen, the bathroom, my bedroom, the basement, the garage, the backyard. <laughs> They're everywhere. I, I really need a warehouse. <laughs> so that is one of the things to know about is that oftentimes these can take up a lot of space. A so, ton of space. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys some other pictures in just one second. Let me stop my share for a second. And then um, guys, if you have other questions for Jen, go ahead and type them into the comments and we'll answer them for you and I just have to pull up um, something for you guys real quick. So any other questions on the signage and all of that and Belinda are you on your phone or on your computer currently? She's MIA. Yeah <laughs> I know she's <laughs> been super busy. I did, I did see a question, Joette, about um, the vinyl and do I do it on my Cricut or, or what do I do for that? You can, um, now you're layering though, because you've got different colors on your Cricut and, and to make a graphic or a picture, you have to put them together. If I'm doing just a letter, you can absolutely do that on a cutter. I've got an actually an industrial cutter. I don't use a little Cricut. Um, but yeah, you can absolutely do that. Or you can buy them pre the vinyl sheets pre-printed with the graphics on them. And they just, like I said, peel off like a sticker and you can put them right on your Coroplast. Cool. So guys, go ahead and keep on asking. This is your time to ask Jen a couple more questions while I pull up the pictures that show you um, how to store this and how to keep things nice and organized. And where do I get my signs from? I gave uh, Joette some links to that. There is a place online that does them. Janice Wilkie, she owns Front Yard Friends and she sells them. That's my number one go-to. Um, Jan, Jan, Joette has that link. Yes. Um, and then there's a couple others as well, if you wanna include those. Cool, so what will happen guys is after we finish up in my Balloon Boss Mastermind, for those people who are in that program, this will be going into your units. And then also, since this was a free webinar, I will also have it for you guys in Balloon Coach community. And um, I will have the copy of this replay. And then I will also have a PDF of the notes from Jen so that you've got all of those places that you can get things from. Um, so that will all be there. And so for those of you who didn't know, I do have units <laughs> in my Facebook groups, um, yeah. more in my ones that are paid, <laughs> obviously. Um, but also in, um, balloon coach community, there's been several times where people have, um, asked for help, um, and asked questions over and over again. So I have, I'm giving you guys that information. Um, so getting you couple of more samples real quick. And yes, John, I do. I do have a printed sign that I put off to the side of all my yard cards that has my company logo and information on it. You should too. Definitely put that out there. Oh, I love that tip. So you're advertising in two ways. One is with a printed sign on the ground with the signage. And then another one is your card that you're putting on the door, correct? Yes. 
Yes. And I have found that I also put it on my marquees if I put those out there because sometimes customers will remove your advertising sign from your display. I don't know why they don't want it out there, but sometimes they will. So I make sure I put it on everything. Oh, great tip. So um, you're saying that you've got it like on the actual um, signs themselves? On the larger ones, the centerpieces, yes. Okay. Awesome. <clears throat> Yay. All right. So I've got this for you guys. And click away. And here we go. All right. So share screen. All right. So for those of you guys who are asking about how to take care of storage, this is Belinda Barrier at Balloon and Event Construction Company in Jacksonville. And she's just added a second building next to her current warehouse for her balloon business. And it was a great place for her to put her signs. So she's got a couple of these cool designs that look like actual balloons. Um, so she was getting things ready for an event. She had just gotten these when I was there um, last month. And so as you can see, she's got things like happy birthday and different congratulations all together and so one stack is down one stack is up so that you're kind of putting as much room as you can around and then she's got these plastic bins so then here's all of the birthday balloons and she's got the nice thin um, sticks that go right into some of the designs they're thinner then she's got these that look like um, magical balloons which is beautiful so she's got things by the gifts by the balloons by the stars so her team can keep everything organized and then she had some ones created for her football team there in Jacksonville she's got the smile emojis the graduation so having these bins help things stay hi Belinda she said she's back that's awesome and then, um, so this keeps things really nice and organized. And then I just have to always show off because Belinda is going to be teaching about brand messaging and how to have your company brand. And when she added in the yard cards, it just went crazy with the things that she's got going on. So at her space, this building off to the left is her building that has just been added on to her business. She's got it painted now to match her van. <laughs> and then inside that space is where she's putting the yard cards right now. So when you guys were asking about space, if you do have a space that you currently lease or rent or own, Glenda owns her spaces, you know, think about, okay, where am I gonna put all of this? Because as Jen said, it's in every single room of her house. So by having a space, um, it kind of helps you get a little bit more organized. Uh, and Belinda is typing in that it takes space. So what I wanna do for you guys is to let you know a couple of other things that are resources for you that you can use. And um, so let me just do this down and go to, so I Heart Balloons is a part of Belinda Barrier's company. And for those of you, in addition to all the wonderful places that Jen has for you guys to purchase signs from, if you want those specialty signs that look like balloons, you can actually go to iheartballoons.com and the ones that say happy birthday and it looks like silver balloon letters or it also looks like gold for the HBD you can actually purchase those right there at iHeart Balloons. They're 24 inches tall. So I just wanted to let you know if you guys wanted those specially print ones that say happy birthday or the balloon letters that say HPD, you can actually go to iHeart Balloons and order those sets from Belinda and she will get them shipped out to you um, for you to be able to use. So wanted to let you know that that's another resource that's there um, for you when you're doing your signs because you know, sometimes you're not going to want to put out your balloon letters, right? Because of the temperatures and the heats during the summer. So if you're looking for something special, I wanted to let you know that I Heart Balloons, that is a place that you can get them. The other thing that I want to do real quick is that if you guys need help and support as you grow your business, I've had a lot of new people joining Balloon Coach community recently, and then they're sending me a private message like, hey, Joette, do you know of any training I can go to? So Jen, is there any trainings that I offer that you've been to before? Oh my gosh, now that you mentioned it. <laughs> I love your trainings, I've been to everyone. 
All right, so on my website, ballooncoach.com, Balloon Boss Pro Summit is coming up in November in Orlando. And who do I know on this call that has a ticket for that? Me, me. <laughs> All right, so Jen is a returning alumni with us in Orlando. And a lot of people are like, are you really having a live event? It's COVID. And I'm like, okay, guys, here's the thing. I feel two things. Number one is I am passionate that our industry needs to come together and hang out with each other because we feed off of each other's energy and we learn from each other. The second thing is, is Orlando is open for business. <laughs> Disney just opened and the Holiday Inn Disney Springs just opened. As a business owner, I just went on vacation last week in South Florida and I went and I shopped with a local kayak company to work with Carmen's Kayaks to rent a kayak for my daughter because my husband and I just bought some and go on an eco tour. Why did I do that? We could have gone out on our kayaks on our own. But you know what? I wanted to know more about the place I was staying and I wanted to support local business. So I was able to go with her and it was an awesome experience. Then the next day, my husband and my daughter and I, we went out and we went shopping and we had sweet treats, which we typically don't have because uh, we've been eating really well. But we went to the ice cream shop. We went to the fudge shop. We went to the jewelry store. We went to all of these different places in this cute little town because we wanted to support business that I knew had had declining numbers because of COVID. And so, yes, we wore our mask and followed the rules and did all that. But we also went out to a wonderful meal at a great family owned restaurant because I want to give back to the business industry because as a small business, I know I want other people to support me. So the reason that the Loom Boss Pro Summit is coming up in November, on the 7th, you can come in and get your CBA with Qualitex. And then on the 8th is hands-on learning where we're going to create balloon decor. There's a great video from last year on here. And then our 18 instructors. Now, right now, um, our wonderful returning instructor, Stuart Davies from the UK, wants to come to Florida. The only thing is, is I don't know if the UK will let him back. So I don't want any of my instructors to show up and not be able to go home and have to be permanent residents of my house. So if for some reason Stuart's not able to come live, he will then be virtual from his um, shop in the UK and be hanging in Wales and be hanging out with us in Orlando virtually. But right now my instructors are all planning on being there. And if anyone cannot come for some reason, they will be virtually brought in. The other thing is for those people who already have tickets for the event and you're concerned about your health, I am gonna be able to make it where you can um, join us virtually from your home. So I just wanted to let you guys know that there is training out there if you're wanting to grow your business, if you're wanting to talk about um, how to market and sell things, we can do that. And then the other thing I wanted to let you know about is my Balloon Boss Mastermind program is if you want support on how to grow a thriving business and you just want a cheerleader in your corner to help you out through this process, then that's what I'm here for. And it's $47 for your first month. And then every month after that's 97, it's a $297 a month value because I answer questions within 24 hours and you have access to over $4,000 of online training. So I'm just letting you guys know, as you go into yard cards and you're trying to figure out pricing and how you're trying to figure out how to merge it together with your balloon business, or you want to figure out how do I get more people buying balloons that go inside their house so you can deliver the yard cards and then put a bouquet in the house. If you want support with any of that, then come hang out with us for a month. It's not a contract, so you can quit at any time. So just wanted to throw that out there for you guys. And um, we've got people who have been booking their flights and uh, getting ready to come to Orlando. So I'm excited about that. So what I want to do is just check and see if there's any other questions that you guys have while we have Belinda and Jen on. Belinda, if you want to come on to talk to us, feel free if there's other tips and hints that you want to share about. I did see a question, Joette. Um, yeah, someone had asked me, do I charge the customer if signs come up missing? And my answer to that is absolutely not because there's nothing worse than saying, happy birthday, you owe me money. So you just have to kind of take that on as a business expense. And like I said, it, it's very rare. It doesn't happen that often. And if I've got to pay 10 bucks to replace a sign, so be it. It's just worth saving that customer. Gotcha. Great tip. Are there any other questions for Jen 
or Belinda this evening before we wrap up. Jen, thank you so much oh, for sure. taking your time to be on to share this. Cause here's the thing guys, so many people are inundating Jen with questions of like, how do you do this? What do you charge? All of those things, where do you get stuff? And obviously that takes away from her business. So by doing this one time, now any of your friends who ask the same question, you can ask, say, hey, ask now. <laughs> go to Balloon Coach and check out the webinar replay and check it out. So guys, if there's any other questions, speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> We've got do, do I charge you. delivery or is that included? You can do it either way. You can say my package price is X. And if you live in this area, that's this, this much for delivery. I've done it that way. Um, but I like it better where I say, okay, where are you calling me from? And then I have a price for that area and I have a price for that area and I have a price for that area. So you can do it either way. There's actually, there's always more to go further. You need to keep that in mind when you do your pricing. Cool. So for those of you who are asking for notes of where I can buy these from, the balloon letters that say happy birthday that look like balloons that are 24 inches, you can get those from iHeart Balloons. And then the list of all the other suppliers and all the other tips that Jen gave, I am going to have in a PDF in Balloon Coach Community Facebook group. So if you're not a member yet, go to Balloon Coach Community and ask to join the Facebook group. Ask, tell us a little bit about yourself um, and the questions that we ask there. And then in units, you'll be able to see it. And then all my people who are my Balloon Boss Mastermind group, you'll also see it in units in Balloon Boss Mastermind. That's my paid group. So is it appropriate? Uh, let's see, nope, I already asked that question. Do you make the alphabet or do you purchase them, Jen? Both. My Coro, the plain Coro that's just a solid color, I cut those by hand because it saves me a ton of time and a ton of money. I just have them done. The ones that are printed, like you see on the screen right now with all the glitter, the color, whatever, so much easier to just order them. Cool. Um, do you use a contract with your clients? <sighs> no. I, I Maybe I should. I used to. I find that it does, it's never come into play. I've never had any issues. I didn't need it for backup and it's just an extra step that confuses and upsets customers. So I just don't do it. Cool. So, uh, we're getting lots of thank yous for the information and sure. Belinda, Anytime. is there anything you would like to add? So, um, hey guys. So one of the things I've learned a lot, every time I go out to install, or even break down. It seems like I'd learned something because I'm so new and I remember back to just starting balloons. And this is a, a crazy, silly tip, but I want to think I'm going to share it with you. But so I am so against flip flops and I'm in Florida for balloon decor. But last night I'm out installing balloons and flip flop or yard sign and flip flops. And I stepped in an ant bed. Oh. And it was a big lesson learned and I will not be, um, I've learned like rain boots in the morning because of the, the dew on the grass. So there's lots of little um, nuances that come along with it. But once you learn them and you've experienced it once, um, it, it's, it's pretty, um, it can be very profitable and it's a great add on to um, what we're already doing. So if you have the space, it's a great way to complement your business. And I truly believe that you have to have, you know, you can't put all your eggs in one basket. Now I've done really well with classic decor, but this complements it really well. And even just the HVD added to the numbers. So it's not, it just sets it apart um, for something that's going in a yard. So if you just put a small handful, um, it's really helpful. So we are able to drop ship and send you guys um, the, the black letters for the names. Um, and we are, um, we have the letters that are able to go out. I have not, um, I'm not probably gonna have as much to offer that Jen does. Like I'm trying to keep it pretty simple and um, I'm not going to expand to so much inventory and multiple colors of letters. I don't know if you guys talked about that. I'm going to try to keep it simple for a couple of years to just kind of see how it goes. Um, it's just kind of what I'm thinking of, um, of how I'm going to structure it. That's a great um, idea. I've so also, keeping your basic letters the same, like that would sell out their yeah. name, you're doing it in the black, but then you're doing the HBD and the happy birthday, like in those ones that are the silver, the gold that look like balloons. 
Correct. And because of the graduation situation, we add a lot of graduation. I don't really anticipate adding a lot of back to school. Um, there's so much that you can add and it could just go on and on and on and on. So I think once something becomes profitable, then maybe you can move on to the next. And Jen's been doing it for 10 years. So she's got so much inventory probably by adding it on. I think that if anybody's looking to get into this, your number one is happy birthday because that's year round. And if you're in it until next year, graduation is my busiest and most profitable time of year. So those would be your two go-tos. Um, as far as letters, I would look at maybe doing anniversary or welcome baby. Those are my next, but definitely happy birthday. That's your number one. Yeah, I, and I agree on that. So it can become overwhelming, but, and I've, I've added more, you know, little, I mean, just a few months I've been doing it, but I do think, um, Jen, do you think it would be hard to do it without the black letter just by doing happy birthday? Like, do you always add names? I, the, the letters, and I think a lot of people that are getting into it now, they're kind of focused on that, but that is such a small nuance of doing yard cards that I don't really do a ton of lawn letters. Um, but yeah, I do, um, I've got like, I think 10 different colors and happy birthday. I wouldn't start with that, start with one or two and somebody calls and says, sure, would you like pink or blue? At least, at least they have that option. Um, but so, then that, Jen, have, have I want to clarify this real quick. Sure. I want to clarify real quick because balloon people like to be pl people pleasers and think we have to give every color on the planet plus like double stuffed balloons. So just like I tell people in balloons, like you let them know what you have. This is what I offer. No, I'm not going to give you that weird shade of purple that you think was on there because it was photoshopped. I have this purple <laughs> or this purple. It's like lilac or purple. That's what you got. So the same thing what Jen was saying is whatever letters you order, just be confident with that and just say you get this or this. It's that simple or it's, it comes in black. You know, feel confident with what you have. Don't feel like you have to buy something brand new for every single right. person who calls you right. just because they saw a pale lilac um, in California. <laughs> and know. I, I do have a different source for steak. So I'll add that to the group as well. And mine is on the East coast. So maybe that mine's in North Carolina. It's a steak company there. So maybe, um, yeah. And you can always check your local sign shops too. They carry them. Yeah. Um, and I like the, the smaller ones, like Jen says as well. Um, they're just easier to, to manage. Yeah. Um, that's so, awesome yep any other tips Belinda other than don't wear flip-flops <laughs> <laughs> rain boots in the morning if it's dewy or wet yeah um no I think um we have a lot of gated communities and um, the restrictions have become even tighter for getting in and so even for the weekends, for Saturday morning, um, they, because you're a contractor and they won't let yard, like people that are coming to mow your grass or um, construction workers in till eight o'clock. And we're basically a contractor, so they won't let us in till eight o'clock. So um, you, I have learned that I have to come in not my marked van, but an unmarked vehicle. And I have to have the person put us on the guard gate as a guest and not a business. Wow. So that I've is learned. a great tip. And I've learned it the hard way. I think I remember that. <laughs> there was a day when she was going to do an event. It was quite late at night and they would not let her in through the gate um, to make the delivery. I remember that. So great tips, Jen and Belinda. And um, I love seeing the excitement people have that you guys have taken this time to go, hey, you know what? There's something my clients are asking for. And just like with balloons, where I encourage people to kind of limit what your scope is, especially if you're new to it. I think that's a great thing with the this is don't feel like you have to buy everything. Right. Start with the things that they told you are gonna sell first and then add to it as you're making money and as you see it being profitable in your area. Don't feel like you have to have everything from the get-go. So um, again, guys, the replay for those of you who came in late will be up in my YouTube channel. And then uh, for those of you who uh, want the notes, um, they will be in Balloon Coach community or for those of you who are Balloon Boss Mastermind members, it will be in there in your units also. 
Um, one other little last, last shout out I just want to let you guys know is ballooncoach.com is going through an upgrade. Um, I have been working behind the scenes to update the website. So there may be a few glitches in the member area over time as we transfer data. So I just want to let you guys know if you are in my mastermind program um, or with my webinar subscription and you go in to look for something you don't see it, um, be patient. You can send me a private message and I'll let you know um, what's going on. But also with my mastermind people, you always have access to the most recent um, replays and current um, training in our mastermind Facebook group. All right. So thank you so much. Um, Belinda and Jen, I appreciate your guys' time greatly. I want to remind you all that we're here on this journey together. The balloon logo is about us walking the journey together. So just like today, two balloon friends, Jen and um, Belinda coming together to share their examples and their knowledge with you so that you don't have to walk this journey by yourself so that you can grow your thriving balloon business. And if you did not see the bonus webinar that wonderful Stuart Davies did with me on the transformation in the midst of uncertainty, I think it goes hand in hand with this where you're adding something new to your business to um, increase your income. Um, go over to my YouTube channel. Um, or into the units and balloon coach um, community and check that out because it was a great replay. And the final thing I'm going to say is put your vision boards together. If you've not created a vision board or written down your goals, I encourage you to do that. And if you need help, you can come hang out with us in Balloon Boss Mastermind. We're starting a boot camp on Monday where I'm going to be focusing in on goals um, because we're going to launch to be ready for the fall um, so that we can keep moving forward and growing our companies together. So thank you guys so much for being here tonight. It was great um, to have so many people interacting with the conversation. And again, Belinda and Jen, thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. And if anybody else needs anything, shoot me a message. I don't know if I'll answer right away, but I'll try. And that's what I'm here for guys. So when you have other yeah. questions, ask me, cause I can get you guys the notes that Jen had and all of that. Thanks so much for being here.